turned off road 447 onto 445 and it turned into gravel road. You got about five miles to Big Island Lake parking lot. You guys excited about this yeah, kayak canoe oh, adventure? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The sun's out, it's going to be great weather. On Wednesday we made it to the Big Island Lake parking area unloading our canoes and kayaks. And this is the trail heading into Big Island Lake where we'll be portaging our equipment. We are going to spend four nights here. Not sure where we're going to sleep yet, but we'll find a camping spot when we get in there. We are heading down the short 1,000 foot to 1,400 foot portage from the parking lot to Big Island Lake to start our trip. Big Island Lake, so it's a very, very easy walk in here from the parking lot. We brought our canoes and stuff in, it's like a five minute walk. Now we're gonna bring our second load in and head out. We're gonna head to Town Line Lake tonight. Yes. Parked here, bringing our stuff to here. Tonight we're gonna go to Town Line Lake. Nice flat trail from the parking lot to Big Island Lake. We're at Big Island Lake, loading up our two canoes and kayaks, ready to go. This is Big Island Lake, right at the portage. So far, Big Island Lake's been about solid lily pads. And there's an island, Big Island Lake. We're at the portage from Big Island Lake to Middle Lake. Doing the portage from Big Island Lake to Mid Lake. Think it'll be a short one. Got a little bit of a hill to go down here. Portage was very short, but very steep in one spot, but it was pretty easy. And we are gonna head to the left and portage over to Town Line Lake. Got some pitcher plants at the portage area. Take her down, boys. Oh, that was uneventful. Hey guys, see you over at Town Line Lake. Heading into the portage from Mid Lake to Town Line Lake. And this is it. These guys are here already. Another simple portage. One little hill, very mild hill, going down to Town Line Lake. This is Town Line Lake, just entered from the portage from Mid Lake, and now we're going to our campsite down on that end of the lake. It is very windy out here today, and it's pretty much against us the whole way so far. This is entering to, on our site on Town Line Lake. We found a campsite. Here comes Dave and Rick coming up to our campsite. This is our campsite. Let's go check it out, see what it looks like. Better be good, and it looks like it is. Fire pit, and we're kind of out on a peninsula here. Got a latrine near our campsite. Just an open pet toilet. Lake down there. Here's our camp down here. This is it. Walking out to the end of our little peninsula where we're camped. This is Town Line Lake. First night's camp. Queen's got some wood. Hot dog stick. What do you guys think of this awesome site tonight? Cool. On Town Line Lake, it's a nice site. Very nice. Hot dog. Bro. Throwing out like with, the, with you know, in public for the kid. <laughs> Dave just hung his food line like an expert. How's that? Our first night's sunset.
<laughs> that would be something. Just stand off in the dark and just show that that face, those eyes. Oh. Thursday morning, sun is out. Gonna be a nice day at Big Island Lakes. Thursday morning, we're just getting around. We're leaving our campsite to do some exploring today. <laughs> He's going down. <laughs> uh, a few of the trees are starting to change already. Doing some exploring around Town Line Lake this morning. Got a beaver lodge down in the south end of Town Line Lake. Beaver lodge on Town Line Lake. Back in the swamp area. Very windy out here today. We're portaging back into mid lake this morning. Very short portage here. Woo. Up a little hill and down. Woo. Woo. Yeah, Oru kayak, very light. Could carry quite a ways this way. The kayak back into mid lake. Here they come. Here they come. Going down the trail. Heading to the south end of Mid Lake to do our portage to Coattail Lake. Too close to the south end of Mid Lake. Here's our portage to Coattail Lake. A little bit of hill on this one. Don't really need shoes to do these portages. Ground's pretty soft, easy on the feet. Here's Coattail Lake after an easy portage. Okay. There it is. We are on Coattail four, Lake, five. heading to McKinnis Lake now. Here we are on Coattail Lake. Rick and Dave are entering the lake. And the portage to McKinnis is at the very end of this one. The wind has really died down now. Makes the kayaking and canoeing much easier. Here's the portage to McKinnis Lake. Yeah, it's gorgeous. We're gonna keep going down lake to lake as far as we feel like it. Portage from coattail to McKinnis. This is gonna be 1,046 foot portage on this one. Going uphill at the beginning, we're climbing. Pretty easy to climb. Looks like it'll be a pretty easy portage. You guys doing all right on this one? Just finishing up the portage into McKinnis Lake. A little bit of a downhill at the end. Overall, pretty easy portage. A little muddy here at the entry to the lake. Sinking in a little bit here. Way in, can't step there. Closer, closer. Hi. Here we are on McKinnis Lake. We've gotta go all the way down to the east end to the next portage to Klondike Lake. Got a loon up ahead. 
the loon. Our loon just submerged. I think I see the portage to Klondike Lake from McKinnis Lake. Here's McKinnis Lake Portage, and we are going to head this way to Klondike Lake. Me and Paul carried this three and a half miles back to the parking lot from McCormick, and we never, our arms never even got tired. Heading over to Klondike Lake. So far, it's been very easy, very flat. Coming to the end of our portage to Klondike Lake, that seemed fairly long, flat, but definitely a lot longer than the others. This is Klondike Lake. I'm having lunch at Klondike Lake, and if we had a cooler, we'd have Klondike bars along with us. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Just simple lunch, peanut butter and tortillas. Gorp, Cliff Bar, pudding, that'll keep me sustained. This is Klondike Lake. Wind's picking up again. the Potage Point coming out of Klondike Lake back to McKinnis Lake. Portaging back to McKinnis Lake from Klondike. We're back at McKinnis Lake. Gonna head back to the west end of McKinnis on the way to Coattail Lake. Got a whole family of otters here in the water. Their heads are all just popping up. Don't know where they went, they all went under. Leaving McKinnis to go to Coattail Lake. I'm waiting to see Rick fall over the side. We're back at Coattail Lake. It took us eight minutes to do the portage from Lake McKinnis to Coattail. There's another beaver lodge on Coattail Lake. Headed back to Mid Lake from Coattail Lake. We're on Mid Lake, heading back to Townline Lake. Heading to the end of Mid Lake to the portage to Townline Lake, where we are camping. Here's the portage point from Mid Lake to Townline, coming in for landing. We collected some firewood at the portage because the wood at our campsite is depleted. So we we're gonna load up the canoe, haul some firewood back to camp. Heading back to our campsite on Town Line Lake, and this is definitely the windiest lake so far. It looks like there might be a storm brewing, so we are putting up some tarps. Go. Yeah. Hold on a second. Yeah. How far? Rick's doing some filtering. <laughs> it's dinner time. Kind of, yeah. We're all getting ready to cook. Hey, 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 we hey, are hey. gonna have our dinner tonight, Thursday night, and it looks like it's rain's coming in, so we're eating a little early. Water is boiling. You didn't see any other people though? Got some Idaho and potatoes. Gonna have some tuna and cheese. Mix in some cheese and I'll be ready to eat. 
What are you having, Mike? Mac and cheese. And Wayne's having some kind of beans. Oh, noodles. Different things. Wandering around the lake by our campsite and that's a little swampy area here. Ran into this other campsite walking around the lake. Not quite as nice as ours, not as big. Nice area. Pretty thick walking along the edge of these lakes. Not terrible, but you have to dodge a lot of branches and things. Mike is a fire starter tonight. Getting our fire going. We got a blaze going. That's a big flame going. Thursday night, our second night. Got a nice fire going. Kayak and canoe the lakes. These guys went fishing. They caught nothing. See the bottles. Did you? Yeah. Put it in there. One quite a few. Here comes the rain. We never have a trip without rain. Wouldn't be the same. It's coming down. Friday morning, we got blue skies. Rained a small amount last night. Morning, everybody. Everybody sleep good last night? No. Fairly good. Well, that's good. Stay doing some coffee. Warm Make coffee today. Warm yeah. Yeah. What do you got there, Mike? Get out there, you coffee. dirty pig. No, <laughs> yummy. Oh. Dave's doing some mountain house scrambled egg. We got some hunting dogs running through our camp. Rain dogs coming. I think these hunting dogs are lost. They swam over here from across the lake to our site. Now they don't know where to go. But I'm gonna go kayaking around the perimeter of the lake today. Kayaking around the perimeter of Town Line Lake this morning. Beautiful sunny sky. I'm at the end of Upper Lake. And there's a beaver dam here, just walking along it. Very clear water. It's like about a three foot drop. Lots of cool areas off the main lake to explore back in the swamps created by the beaver dam. Quite a ways back in here. Heading out of Upper Lake back into Town Line Lake. Beaver Dam is uh... Dave caught a pike and a bluegill so far. Really? Here's a trail off Town Line Lake, not shown in the map. And it's very steep, so I'm gonna go see what's on top. Don't know where it's leading. Just through some ferns and looks like almost an old two track through here. Maybe it's an old portage trail. Camp's pretty quiet this afternoon.
Welcome to the portage. Another day, another portage. We are on Mid Lake, heading over to Big Island Lake. We're gonna take our canoes over to Big Island Lake off Mid Lake. Big Island Lake. Big Island Lake should be called Lily Pad Lake because there's a lot of them. I wonder why, I wonder why there's so many on this side. Uh -huh. There they go. Uh -huh. Passing Big me up. Island. Big Island Lakes Wilderness. Big Island Lake. We're just checking it out and we're going to look for a campsite to take a little break. This is the campsite on Big Island Lake. We're going to go ashore and take a break, have a snack. Here's the campsite on Big Island Lake. It's nice, but not near as nice as the one we have. This has a lot more room and shade. Leaves are starting to change on some of the trees. Look at that color. We are back in Mid Lake, Long Narrow Lake. There's a campsite on Mid Lake. Somebody's occupying it right now. Dave's gonna try it, some hand at fishing here on Mid Lake. Yeah. You know, Dave's probably the best fisherman I've ever seen in my life. He's reeling it in, empty, nothing. Gonna head back into Town Line Lake. Back on Town Line Lake. Mike, how are you doing in there? I'm doing marvelous. Mike's taking an afternoon nap. Got my feet kicked up on my pack. Just got done spending the day on the water and now we're just kind of relaxing. It's just a gorgeous day out here. What do we have going on here? What is that, the hooded bandit in there? It could be. We're walking between campsites on Town Line Lake and a nice hemlock and cedar forest here, different than ours. Ours is all hardwoods, maples, and beach. So this is pretty in here. Got to cross a swamp in here, but it's been a pretty dry summer up here, I think, so it's not too difficult. Just scared up another partridge. Back at camp from our little excursion overland.
voila, potatoes and cheese for dinner. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Cheesy rice. For all you young backpackers out there, check out that stove. Never seen anything like that before. That's a uh, sterno. Sterno. But it works good for Wayne. It does. Red mac and cheese. Up the mac and cheese mountain house. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Dave's mixing in the tuna. Keeping them separate today. Oh, yeah. Cheesy. Cheesy. This adds a cheesy. Oh yeah, Wayne's got the rice going tonight and the sriracha. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. 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 Look at that fine cheese in there. Take a good bite. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Good stuff. Cheers. Good stuff. Oh. I really think that I'm going to cut these meals in half. <laughs> Taking an evening canoe ride over to the Beaver Dam. It's been a gorgeous day and it's still warm and clear skies at 6.55. Up ahead is the channel into the Beaver Dam. Here's the Beaver Dam. They got some fresh cut spruce on it so they've been working beavers have recently created this place friday night fire after a gorgeous day on the lake mm -hmm. amen oh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> it's the waterhead from the back <laughs> got a nice fire Welcome to join. Perfect timing with the rain. Started coming down as soon as we went to bed. Morning. Got some fog on the lake. And it poured last night. And very, very windy. And thunder and lightning. It was a big storm. What did you guys think of that storm last night? It was nothing. <laughs> was it a doozy or a dandy? It was a doozy. It was ferocious. For nothing. Only oh, here stayed dry. Only Kim was crying. <laughs> yeah, we were walking down the lake. Right? <laughs> 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 Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna do a demonstration of Thor's kiss. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. This is Thor's kiss. Hold still, Wayne. Ready? Okay, One, hold still. Two, three. Nice. Is a demonstration of a Dutch rub. Oh yeah. Hey Mike, how's that feel? Get it in there. Come on. Don't see many filters like that anymore. It's the old school pump filter, but they weren't good. It does. Look at Wow! The sun is coming out. The sun's coming out. It's going to be a beautiful day on Big Island Lakes. It's amazing. Take it easy. <laughs> oh my word, they're still standing. There they are, warming up in the sun this morning. Yeah, I'm gonna go check out these swans this morning. There's some swans and their cygnets out on the lake this morning. I know they're very aggressive, so I don't want to get too close. I'm as close as I dare get to these things. Oh yeah. There's a moon up there this morning. Here's another old beaver dam on Coattail Lake. I think it's an old beaver dam, kind of overgrown. It's swamp now. Heading to Coattail Lake. 
Here they come from Town Line to Mid Lake. You guys need some help? Gotta figure out how to do it. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. I know what you're gonna do. What you I know what you wanna see. Except you're not. Back on Mid Lake, the murky lake, this lake is so cloudy. All the other ones are very clear. Heading into the coattail portage. Just came up the hill on the portage to coattail. Now we got downhill. There's Coattail Lake. Campsite on Coattail Lake. This is the campsite on Coattail Lake. The only one on the lake. Not bad. Fit a few tents on here. Took a trail off the campsite on Coattail Lake and we walked for about five minutes and it kept going. So we're gonna try to find out where this trail went to. Walked out to a road here from Coattail Lake, just a gravel road. This is the entrance to uh, Coattail Lake. Gravel Road. It's a 13-minute walk down this trail to the road from this campsite on Coattail Lake. But we're gonna go check out this cove back here a minute. Inlet on the end of Coattail Lake near the portage to McKinnis Lake. We'll check it out in a minute. I'm gonna go check out this. What? Oh! I'm going in over my knees. I don't want to go too deep. Yeah. yeah. It's just a wetland. I thought it was an old beaver dam, but I don't think so. Going back. Ooh, look at that. Here's a clam. Ooh, look at that. I don't know if there's any zebra muzzles in these lakes. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I haven't seen any zebra muzzles. No, I have not either. It's a beaver lodge on Port Hill Lake, but I'm not sure. It's pretty close to shore. Heading back to Mid Lake from Coattail Lake. Heading back to Townline Lake on Mid Lake. A nice excursion to Mid Lake and Coattail Lake today. Got a happy hour fire oh, going. TP down, TP down, TP down. There's a old tree cut by beavers long ago. Time for Wheeler Fortune. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. <laughs> it's been quite late. Almost bedtime. It's our last night at Big Island Lakes. We're on our way out. It was raining when we woke up. We packed up in the rain, but now it's clearing up a little bit. A little steam coming off the water this morning. Bye. We're heading back across Big Island Lake to the portage to the car. We enjoyed our trip. To the Big Lake lily pads. Back to the Big Island Portage. I don't know how they're getting to shore. Got to get a lot further. Hey, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? It's I was called, gonna. It's called a foot wet. I was gonna pull you in. 
Canoe right over top of the GoPro. Canoe right over top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's a pretty easy portage going back to the parking lot. This is child's play. We finished the trail, loading up the canoes. Just completed four nights on the Big Island Lakes. Yeah. It was the yeah. Yeah. It's a gravel road heading out of Big Lake Wilderness. Pretty good road. Pretty well maintained and graded. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Thank you. This is hey. Three Seasons Restaurant. I highly recommend it. Cross the bridge.